We are on the last episode of this video series, Love Yourself Healthy, and today our topic is how to heal with self-love. This week my body thought, um, you know, let's get Miri ready for this video, and um, <laughs> I know last week we were talking about how your body wants to heal, and how when you give your body the right conditions that, you know, it, it can't just heal one thing, it heals everything. And that means you go on like a journey of healing, and a like an emotional journey of healing because, you know, all of a sudden it's like you have the time and the energy to actually, you know, look after yourself. And um, I've, I've mentioned before that this month, you know, I am actually like on a sugar-free thing and I've, I've got numerous health issues that... Um, I've been trying to heal for a whole year and um, what happens is every so often it's like the healing gets really messy, really, really messy and um, it's actually called a healing crisis, there is a proper name for it, I can't remember what it is. But um, yeah, if, if someone's saying that they're going through a healing crisis, then I'm about to explain to you exactly what that means. And I think my body was like, oh, let's let's give Miri the first hand experience this week. Um, and I've actually I am in the middle of a healing crisis myself. Um, so I'm just going to speak from the heart today. <laughs> um you know the big universe bless her heart she uh she's decided that once again um i've got to walk the walk and talk the talk and take my own medicine so here we are this week is absolutely dead bang on what's actually going on in my life so it should be interesting for you to find out so first of all in case you've never heard of what a healing crisis is it's not actually as dramatic as it sounds. It's not, um, you know, people, if they hear you say that, they think that you're, like, really, really ill. Um, and it's actually the complete opposite of what is happening. So so all the time, every single day, whether you're, um, you know, eating, uh, you know, your normal, I say normal foods or junk foods or whatever, um, or you're pushing down your emotions or anything like that like what, what we think about as a normal diet or a normal life every single day your body's still healing there's always always healing and cleaning going on inside of your body and when you um start you know taking care of yourself a bit more or start to get healthier to try and get healthier then obviously the cleaning ramps up a little bit and everybody notices that they have like a detox um, sort of like the first few days. Now there's this big thing, this big debate that, um, you know, oh, you don't need to do detoxes because your body's constantly detoxing. And that is so true. Your body is constantly detoxing. So no matter what what is happening in your day, your body is cleaning for you detoxing for you getting rid of toxins getting rid of poisons um you know even if you you treat her terribly she still does that for you because she knows that's what it's going to take to get you through another day now when you go on like a healing program and i'm not talking about you know tr just trying to lose weight losing weight is something completely different when you're actually on a healing program, it's like you're supporting your body to do that, but on a much larger scale. Now, your body holds off. So she'll do the, the extra bit of work. So you'll get the detox like on, you know, the first few days and you'll feel like crap. Um, and she does that. But then it's not until she feels really, really safe that she will go into a deeper healing. So there's lots of layers of healing. So she will start going a deeper and a deeper healing. And depending on where you are on your healing journey is depending on the layer of deepness that your body's actually bringing from inside of you to get rid of, you know, these things that have been stored inside of our bodies for a long, long time. So because I did like, well, over the last year I've done I think about 160 days of juicing um and that's like all together not all at once um and I've also done like a few um detoxes where I eat the same thing um 
only over a couple of days because I got really rubbish at them. Um, and yeah, so so I've I've gone quite deep. I've I'm now addressing issues that I've had for over fifteen years. That's what I'm healing at the moment, and so it can mean that you're like the deeper you go, the harder it is for your body. But no matter what level you're on, it's still hard for your body. She's still working hard for you. So first of all, let's have a little bit of compassion for our bodies. Yes, I'm in a healing crisis, but thank you. Um, so what exactly is a healing crisis? So when your body starts to feel safe and she starts to think, OK, let's let's, you know, do this thing. We're, we're safe. We've got the right conditions our girl's in the right place to do it, let's do this. And um, you'll notice that a lot of deep emotions will come up to the surface, a lot of deep emotions. And then it's like every single organ in your body is like, hey, clear out time. It's, it's uh, you know, spring cleaning time. And they start getting to work and chucking out all these toxins, chucking out, not being funny, I had a crayon. A crayon came out when I was doing my juice fast. Um, yeah, so it, they're like getting rid of all this stuff. And the trouble is, is that the only organ in your body that can actually process it all to actually get rid of it is your liver. And, um, well, not the only, but I'm trying to do it very basically and quick here for you. Um, and so your, your liver's like, hold on, hold on, guys. Like, I am overworked here. I'm overloaded. I can't get rid of it quick enough. So... Um, so lots of things start happening and that is the crisis because your body is cleaning up too quickly and you can't keep on top of it. So lots of things happen. So you get, um, it, it's almost like, feels like a, like a poison in your blood in a way. And so you start getting really, really um, like heavy headaches. You can get, you can feel sick, you can feel drowsy. You can feel depressed. Um, you get lots of spots. Well, not everybody, but I get lots and lots of... Oh, my gosh. Like, I mean, you can see my skin is pretty bad at the moment. But it was like... Uh, for a few days, I've, I've like, not even <laughs> been able to make a video. Um, I just haven't been able to bring myself to do it. But today it was just like tough, you know, this is what we're talking about anyway. So there you go. Um, lots on my chest as well. Um, yeah, it's all fun. And not just that, but you feel lethargic. You can feel like really heavy. Um, it just doesn't feel nice. At the moment, my ear is completely blocked up again. So I can't actually hear out of this side, uh, which is really frustrating. But what am I telling all of this to you for? Apart from the fact that I really want to have a moan because my husband won't listen to it anymore. <laughs> it's been going on for too long. Um, so this healing crisis means that you can get really frustrated. Really frustrated. So it's like you're trying so hard to heal. And then all of a sudden it's like your body's giving you a kick in the balls and giving you all of this extra crap to deal with <laughs> like you're feeling bad enough as it is you're trying to feel better by treating yourself better and then it's like you get heaped upon this all of this emotion all of this pain all of you know like actual painful sores on your body like and you're just like come on I'm trying to look after you here you know I'm trying to look after you here Give me a bloody break. And the trouble is, is that it's very, very easy at that point to treat yourself with zero self-love. It's very, very easy because you feel frustrated with your body. You kind of feel a bit angry with your body as well. Especially when you're like, I always reason like, oh, when I was eating crap and when I was not taking any care of my body, I actually felt better than what I do now. And it's easy to get caught up in that that actual martyr, like 
like not dismissing your feelings, not dismissing my feelings because they're completely valid, but you do feel very, very sorry for yourself. And so it's like you have this crossroads in front of you. So you're deep in the healing now. You're deep. You've 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 gone past all the other videos that we've that we've had. You're deep in the healing, and you're at a crossroads, and you're feeling really crappy. And it's like you can go deeper into the healing right now, and treat your body with exactly what she needs, or you can go the exact opposite way and be like, screw this, screw this. I'm going to go back to the way I was before. I was happier before. And the trouble is, is that if you go down the screw you body road, you just go back into a circle, back to where you were right at the beginning. And I know because I've done it many, many, many times. And then you're back, all the way back where you were before. And then you've got to go all the way through all that hardship again till you get back to the crossroads again and it's not until you choose the road of self-love like the actual road of loving yourself while you're healing allowing yourself to be messy healing is not a linear journey it's there's no timeline to it there's no rhyme or reason to it you've just got to trust your body trust her we know she wants to heal we know whatever she's doing right now is what she needs to do to heal you on a deeper level. So it's like you stick at it, you trust her and this road does not circle back anywhere back round on yourself. This road is a whole new direction. This road is a whole new direction. Do you know what that means? It means the road of loving yourself while you heal is leading to a great big change, which is scary. So what do you think your body does? Your body's like, I'm safe. I feel safe to heal. Let's get going, guys. Everybody's all busy. Every organ's busy, got their own jobs to do. The liver's like, oh. And then all of a sudden, your body's like, hold up. She's not stopping. Hold up. We're healing, guys. We're actually doing this. There's change are coming. We don't know what that looks like. Yeah, we don't know what that looks like. We don't know where that change is going to lead us. So, it's scary. So what happens? Your mind monkeys start again. And depending on where you're at with your self-love journey, it can be that that negative voice that we've talked about before starts really really piping up that bitchy voice gets bitchier and bitchier and it's because your body's afraid your body's afraid of what's actually going to happen if you allow yourself to heal if you allow yourself to continue on this journey and not take the u-turn back to being horrible to yourself so it's really, really important that whatever point of healing that you're on, that you do it with self-love. If you're on a weight loss journey, I am not belittling your journey. Please, please know. Most people start with weight loss before they start with healing. Most people will go into, like, actually making themselves feel better by losing a bit of weight first and they you know people aren't stupid like they know that you know if you are in an unhealthy place in your life that getting a little bit healthier helps you be happier So I wouldn't ever, ever belittle that journey. It's still a massive journey. You still get the emotional ups and downs. You still get the healing ups and downs. But it's just on a little bit of a lesser scale because your body is not in that safe place to heal deeply. Your body is healing in a way that it's releasing like fat and it's releasing toxins that way, which also, I believe, releases a lot of built up emotions from, from your past. There's still change ahead. 
So that's still scary. And that means that your negative voice might pop, pop up a lot. And when, you know, when you start, like, a diet or you start, like, a healing thing and you're, like, you get a few days in and then you start getting all of these doubts and why the hell did I sign up for this and what the hell am I thinking about, you know? That's your voice trying to save you. That's your voice trying to to keep you safe. So the, the self-love is actually needed through every stage of this journey. Self-love means that you are okay with whatever stage you're at. You're okay with whatever stage you're at because you accept your body the way she is right now. You are enough the way you are right now. Doesn't mean that you're never going to change. Accepting where you are right now doesn't mean that you're never going to change. And it's a, it's a change that's scary to your body. It's a change that makes your body want to protect you. So the self-love is you being compassionate and empathetic to your body. You understanding how you got to where you are now. And why you want to change. Or what you want to change. Or, you know, why you want to feel healthier why you want to take better care of yourself and it may come at a point where you're thinking about losing weight and it might be that watching these videos make you realize that actually what you really want to do is you know be healthier for your kids or to actually feel good inside of yourself and it's not to say that you can't feel good right now because no matter where you are in your health, you are like allowed to feel good right now. You're allowed to do whatever the hell you want to do today. Nothing needs to change in order for you to feel that self-love. And like I said, I think it was in the previous video, is that like I had more confidence in my actual body when I was 50 pounds heavier. I, I, I was less self-conscious then. So losing weight, um, getting healthier is not actually necessarily going to make you feel better about yourself physically. Please keep that in mind. That's why the self-love is so important. That's why the commitment every single day to self-love is so important. Because every day you are going to change a little bit. Every day, you know, things around you start to shift. When you shift stuff inside of yourself, it's impossible for things not to shift on the outside. It's impossible for them not to shift on the outside. So you will, you'll notice subtle changes, not just inside, but around in your actual real life environment. You'll notice subtle changes. And it's those things that makes your body scared. So she may feel safe enough to heal, but she never ever feels safe enough to change. So you need to support her. You need to support her and let her know that it's okay. Like, you're going to be okay. No matter what happens in the next few weeks, few months, few years, you're going to be okay. You actually, the person that you are deep inside, the person that, that you know, your, your like real powerful essence, essence, your higher self, she never changes. Never. That's why you have to love yourself now. Because that is the being that never changes. So the flaws that you have today, you'll probably still have in five years time. I mean, there's obviously habits that you can change. But the like inner personality flaws kind of stay the same. You can work on them. You can get better at them. But they're kind of always there. That's why you have to love yourself with them first. In order for any change to come about organically. When you're forcing change, it doesn't last for very long. And think about that with your health as well. When you're forcing it. When you're like really, really fighting against the grain. Forcing change. It doesn't last for very long. It's the little changes that happen very, very gradually that 
that, that you notice makes your life better, they're the ones that stick around. They're the ones that scare your body the most, but they're the ones that stick around because it's easy. It feels easy. When something feels easy, it's easy to continue. So what I'm saying today is if you are going through a health crisis, please love yourself anyway. Your body is doing amazing things inside. That's why you feel so knackered. Um, that's why you've erupted. <laughs> please, you know, and healing is messy. No matter what stage of healing you're at, healing is messy. And sometimes it gets messier. Sometimes it gets better. There is an end in sight. There is an end in sight. And whatever you do today to help your body heal, whatever you do today to show your body how much you love her, is going to come back to you tenfold. Because your body works like that. that. This is how your body works. Yes, she is afraid of change. Yes, she is afraid of everything. She, because she loves you so much, she wants to protect you from everything. But anything that you give to her, she gives back with a force of flipping you know, a hundred mamas, yeah? That's how much she loves you. If you think about it, probably for half of your adult life, you've probably abused your body. You've probably treated her like crap, given her, you know, crap food to eat, abused her with no sleep, no water, you know, partying, whatever. And think of how much she's given you back. Just like, think about everything she does for you, even when you treat her like crap. So when you just start treating your body kindly, when you start treating your body with some self-love, you're going to be amazed at what you get back. You will be amazed. Once she's done the hard work of healing you, all of those layers, and then she's got the energy to actually have some damn fun. And you can actually have some damn fun. <laughs> and that's what you deserve. You deserve love. You deserve an awesome life. You deserve to have as much damn fun as you want. And to feel really, really good. And to love yourself every single day. No matter what part of the healing journey you're on. So I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this video series as much as I've enjoyed experiencing each week with you and I would love to hear about your healing journey yourself um let's just like literally just take a moment just to thank our bodies for everything she does for us and just to let her know that we're safe it's really really safe it's safe to heal it's safe to feel and it's safe to be loved Hope you guys had a fantastic January. I shall see you next month. Bye.